Hey yo, what's up quad bros? Glad you guys are back. Welcome, welcome to everybody joining us for another guide. Today we're going to be talking and showing how to destroy every battle rating 3 through 5 vehicle in Enlisted. Every German vehicle, I should say. So we're going to be starting off with the Stug 3F and ending with the Tiger 2H. A lot of players are struggling with killing these big cats, so I hope this video helps you guys out. If it does, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out and I do appreciate it. Now, a couple things before we begin. Number one, we are using the M9 Bazooka. It's important that you guys have the M9 Bazooka. We are assuming you have it for the case of this video. Um, a lot of these penetrations won't work with, say, the Piet or the M1 Bazooka. If you're starting to dip your toes into battle ratings 3 through 5, I highly recommend prioritizing getting the M9 Bazooka because it is just so, so good. It's just such a big step up from the other anti-tank uh, handheld weapons that the Americans and the, the British have. So definitely pick this up as soon as you guys can. It's just going to it's gonna save you a lot of grief. Um, also remember that the M9 Bazooka, as well as the Piet and other anti-tank weapons in the game, all are heat-based, meaning that they don't care about the range you're firing at. If you fire a thousand meters, as long as you hit the target at a good angle, nice and flush, then you will be able to penetrate. You don't lose any penetration over a distance. So that can be really useful when you're firing long ranges. You just need to be able to get into a good position. Uh, to penetrate through and get an ammo rack shot. So, without anything else, guys, let's jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Starting off with the Stug F, I believe. This is uh, a casemate vehicle, so flanking it should be very easy to do. If you need to disable its transmissions or its tracks, you can do so. But we're going to want to aim towards the front edge of the vehicle, right about in here. Once we do that, it's going to be easy to take it out with just a single rocket. And now we move on to the Panzer IV family. This is a series of various vehicles which are all going to have the exact same ammo rack locations. They're going to be located, as you can see here, where the kind of turret meets the chassis towards the top side of it, as well as another ammo rack towards the bottom of the vehicle. Both of these are good to hit. The top one is used first before the bottom ammo rack is used. So if the vehicle has been out for a while or maybe you hit the side and didn't detonate it, maybe you try going for that bottom ammo rack. But either one of these is going to work very uh, well for you as long as you don't thread the needle between them like that. And now we move on to the Panzer IV H. Again, just like the other Panzer IVs, it's got two ammo racks that are easy to hit. Same locations right there at the right below the turret, top end of the tank, and one towards the bottom. This time we're going to hit the bottom. Panzer IV-J, just like the other Panzer IVs, exact same locations. And now for our tank destroyers. All of these are very easy to take out because most of them are based on the Panzer IV chassis. And they're also incredibly short vehicles, meaning that basically a rocket anywhere into the side of these things is going to take it out. Easy peasy. Same thing here with what I think is the Jagd Panzer IV. Exact same area, just shoot the top where the ammo rack is located on just about every other vehicle. Easy. And finally, our Jagd Panzer IV-70A. Just as easy to take out, like the other ones. A rocket directly into the side here. Sorry, I fired a little bit forward. We're going to want to shoot towards more towards the back here to take out this vehicle. And now we land at our big cats, specifically the Tigers and the Panthers of the battle ratings. These guys are going to be a massive headache for you, especially the Tigers and Tiger IIs, so it's good to know how to take them down. Unfortunately for us, just like the other German tanks, their ammo racks are very exposed on the sides of the vehicles. The Tiger, for example, can be taken out with just an easy shot right here, just like you would a Panzer IV. Reloading. Just like the Panzer IVs and the Tiger, the Panther's ammo rack is located on the side of the vehicle, right along the kind of area where the chassis meets the turret. It's so easy to take these vehicles out. Hopefully you guys have realized a little bit of a trend here. And finally, to the King Taiga. One of the most feared vehicles in the game, and as of the current update and the time of this video, the biggest German tank in the game. This thing's no joke. It's not a very easy vehicle to take down, and it's basically impossible to take down from the front. 
However, one guy with an M9 bazooka on the side of the vehicle is very, very effective at destroying this because it has two easy-to-hit giant ammo racks located in the turret and located in the side just like previous German vehicles. Just like its older brother, the Tiger II-H, the Tiger II-P has the exact same weak points. One in the turret and one in the side of the vehicle. 